Hey guys, this reading is for Cancer Sun, Moon or Rising and it's your week in focus reading for the week beginning February 25. So Cancer, I've drawn uh, three cards for you which ended up being four because Strength wanted to pop out of the tarot deck as well. So in the position of energies completing or leaving you this week, we have the Wheel of Fortune. For the focus energies, we have the Three of Cups and for what's coming in later in the week, we've got the Page of Pentacles and the Strength card. So let's start with the Wheel of Fortune. And guys, it's interesting that this card actually popped up in exactly the same position for Libra. So it seems to be that out of the madness of 2018, that I know so many people just had crazy circumstances and lots going on, that a lot of um, karmic cycles are ending and luck is changing, which I think a lot of you will be just so relieved to know. Um, I know I've had... I'm um, Aries and I've had Wheel of Fortune in my reading as well so I think a lot of us were actually um, you know processing a lot of karmic energy last year and now that's all shifting and clearing so I say woohoo to that let's move on <laughs> so guys um, yeah the Wheel of Fortune you know indicates a new beginning because of the ending of a karmic cycle uh, it indicates that it's a turning point and it's time to move forward and that luck has changed the wheel of fortune has changed direction now this normally is a quite a significant thing when it pops up in a reading because the wheel of fortune generally has um, an energy of 10 years so whatever um, actions you take out of this shift um, they are likely to have quite a far-reaching impact so um, to determine, you know, which way the, the wheel is, um, has fallen or shifted, we normally look at the cards around it. So in your focus energy, you've got the Three of Cups, which, as you can tell by the look of the card, is nothing but positive, celebratory energy that often indicates um, family and community and friendship and a coming together to celebrate. And also, you know, it's... Um, yeah, so actually it's like a very much a collaborative, um, you know, friendship. It could even indicate um, love uh, and being under the number of three, it's all about um, creation. So, you know, creating more of this in your life. So I think that um, this indicates that the luck has definitely swung in a very positive direction for you guys. Now, if we look at the energies coming in, at the end of the week we have even more positive stuff going on with the page of pentacles and the strength card so when the page of pentacles pops up in a spread we know that it's a fertile time for manifesting new opportunities and in particular financial uh, opportunities or job um, career prospects new projects that type of thing so um, because strength jumped out at the same time, I think it's asking you to sort of look at what you may need to tame, what parts of yourself you may need to bring back in balance in order to bring in um, and support this change of these positive energies coming in. So a strength card can indicate something being out of balance and it asks you to meet that with the opposing energy to bring it back into balance. So, you know, you may need to apply some level of courage or self-determination in order to bring in these opportunities. So that's just the, the reminder there. But guys, I think this is looking like such a positive change for you. Um, it's like you're moving into, you know, the, the feeling related realm is all about, um, you know, friendship and celebration and you've also got success in your material realm so the wheel has shifted it's a positive direction um, you guys are moving into a very exciting new beginning but just you know don't forget to stay in balance um, meet challenges with compassion courage and strength uh, and remain um, in balance so that then you can actually reap um, the positive energies that are coming in here so guys, that's what I have for you this week. Uh, do feel free to comment on it if you resonated with this message. And I'll see you again next week.